the one. How one happened? Ooh. So we got some grape. Here, let me show you. Not ooh, a bunch of grape. Nice bunch of grape. I've eaten quite a lot already. Um, nice bunch of grape. You throw into a container because uh, you need, you know, some some kind of recipient to welcome the juice you're gonna crush from the grapes. And you know, yeah, exactly. So you need like somewhere like a rock formation. You need some somewhere that gonna contain the juice from it. Get your holes, get you get your cow or your hand, your feet. You crush the grape. You need to crush the grape because the secrets of wine or wine transformation is this: the hard time. You can see, maybe you can see, you can see dust on it. This kind of dust. It's yeast, and the yeast, which is outside, transform the juice, which is inside, into alcohol, and this is what we want. So you need to find a container. So the yeast on the skin of the grape is natural. You can find them anywhere. And if you're nice with them, you can keep them for a long time in your own cellar with your winemaker. So you need to cultivate, you develop certain strength of yeast and they all come back. So natural process of fermentation, yeast is key and you need a nice grape variety. So why the, the berries are so juicy? It is because berries are made for, for birds, especially you know, birds, because grapes want to survive. And if they want to survive by being taken to slightly further distance to create the survival of the species. So to be very, very, very attractive and, and to, to get the seeds to be planted further, further out, they need to be very, very sweet for the birds but as well. And this is incredible at the same time, is for the insects, for the wasps especially, because the wasps are key to wine fermentation, because the wasp will, in summer, on, a, on, the, on, on the autumn, go and get a bit of the nice juice of the, ber the, the berries, but then give it to the larva or the little, little uh, kids and they would keep it overnight o over over the winter and especially the strength of yeast called the cerevisae which is like the best the mass onion the one that transformed the alcohol the best uh, the sugar the best into alcohol without too much problems so the cerevisae would be kept over the winter and then mm, when we start this, the, the season of going to the juice, going to the berries, the wasp bring back the yeast into the plant because in the winter the yeast will die. So wow, that's four wasp and uh, birds primarily, but human, human start to discover this is incredible because you know wine is not only like this beautiful beverage that gives me and gives most of us incredible emotion and, and you want to cry, roll yourself on the floor sometimes and, and, and explain, explain to the world why, what, what it's doing to you. It's mainly for health reasons and, and, and calorific reasons. Yeah. It's very nutritious substance and, and as well as very, very healthy. You know, this, this beverage is capable to replace lots of polluted water wheels and so on. So when you do the fermentation, there's um we got it in the recipient and you need to wait for twelve or twelve hours and then you start to listen to a beautiful music. This beautiful music that's creating a bit of heat, a bit of you smell it carbon dioxide, you know, like and then you can smell ooh it can have a bit of alcohol into it. And it's alcohol and as well, surely a bit of bacteria and vinegar profile because you know the one we're making here. Yeah, is going to be pretty bad because making wine is very easy. Making red wine is so so much more bad there. So this crush yeast, juice, alcohol, sugar into alcohol. The more sugar, the better berries. The more alcohol you get, yeast transforms sugar into alcohol. The riper and the sweeter the grapes, the more alcohol you have. 